The overall idea of consciousness and its reality experience can be summed up by the term state of consciousness. A state of consciousness is a brain state coupled with a mental state. Together, they define the experience you have as real. The state your brain is in determines the state your mind is in, and vice versa. They are actually one total experience of consciousness because time is an illusion. What you experience as reality is dependent upon your state of consciousness. It is the experience of self-awareness you are having in the moment. Your location, your thoughts, your visual environment, and all sensory experiences are an experience of a specific state you are in. Whether you are climbing a mountain or fast asleep having a dream experience, it is all one reality experience of your consciousness. To fully understand the nature of reality, you must first understand the nature of consciousness. Consciousness can be defined in multiple ways. Consciousness is that which experiences itself. It is the quality of self-awareness that is a distinct thing unto itself. Consciousness is that which experiences its own reality. Consciousness is the identity of existence. Consciousness is the only thing that can actually be experienced. Consciousness is the only thing that empirically exists. This means that all experiences someone can have must take place within their consciousness. If it's not within their consciousness, by definition, they cannot have an experience of it. Consciousness is what reality is. When consciousness self-reflects upon its own existence, it creates time, and that experience of itself within time is its reality. The reason why consciousness must self-reflect upon its own existence is because it only experiences itself. You cannot experience anything but you. All ideas and concepts of outside of you or separate from you are being created and thus experienced within your consciousness. This is physiologically demonstrated through the fact that what your body perceives as an outwards reality is merely a reflection of your nervous system. You are seeing your brain, you are feeling your brain, and you are thinking using your brain. You cannot experience anything but you. This is a physical axiom. This diagram illustrates how the reality you perceive around you is merely an experience you contain within your consciousness. The invisibleness of your reality defines and actually creates the experience of that which is visible. Visible in this context is interchangeable with the concept of that which is observed to be an outer reality. Reality is what consciousness experiences by self-reflecting upon itself as time. This diagram represents how the outer reality is actually an observation of the inner reality. The observation takes place within the focus of consciousness. Your focus of consciousness is physically symbolized by your body. The outer reality is the observation of the inner reality. There is no outer reality. What seems to be an outer reality is a vantage point created within one's focus of consciousness. The reason why the term focus of consciousness is being used, rather than just consciousness, is because everything is, by definition, an experience of consciousness. By using the term focus of consciousness, it differentiates the fact that consciousness is choosing to limit itself to a specific focus and perspective for a specific experience of itself. The reality that the consciousness may experience is an illusion unto itself because it isn't something separate from the consciousness having the experience. This is one of the reasons why people say reality is an illusion or that there is no reality, because most people define reality as separate from the consciousness having the experience. Right now, 
You aren't actually watching a video, you are watching a reflection of yourself. The experience you are having is the reality, and the reality is an experience of yourself. The phenomena of your reality are symbolic mirrors and defined illusions that allow an experience of what that symbol represents to you. It is all empirically an experience of your consciousness. These words you are hearing right now are meaningless symbols that evoke consensus belief systems regarding what these symbols mean as a form of communication. There is no actual reality to them other than the reality you experience them to be. The very screen you are looking at, which displays these words, is merely radiating light. You are observing meaningless energy and automatically unconsciously giving it meaning for a conscious experience. To top it all off, time doesn't even empirically exist. The concept of time is just that, a concept. It is another automatic, unconscious definition you are imposing upon your reality. It is an automatic association you create to experience a specific kind of reality. It is an experience of self-observation. Your reality is your experience. Your experience is the only thing that is real. It is the only thing there is. You are the experience itself. Your experience may change. You may experience more clarity and more knowingness. You may experience a perspective that seems to contain more logical definitions for what's going on in your experience of time. But no matter what you experience, it is all a real experience of reality. No reality is more real because the reality that is experienced is just a perspective of what appears to be happening. Reality is an experience of consciousness. The experience of consciousness is reality experience.